I am Anil Kumar and we are exploring fractions. The question here is, consider the fraction 3 over 5. What happens when both numerator and denominator is increased by 10? So you can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So what we will do is, we will again take a chocolate bar. Right? So let's say this is the chocolate bar with us. Okay. Now in this bar, we have to divide it into five equal parts since uh, denominator is five. So let's say this is one, then we have two, then we have three, and then let's say these are equal parts. Okay, looks bigger, but let's say these are equal parts. Okay, so we have a part which is divided into five equal parts. So I could write five in the denominator. That means five equal parts. Now when we say three out of five, we have to select three, right? So let us select three out of these fives. So let me select these three. It seems to be a bigger part here, so why not, right? So we'll select these three. So we have selected three out of five. You get an idea, right? So we have selected three out of five. So that much portion is three out of five. Now the question is, what happens when both numerator and denominator is increased by 10? Increased by 10 here means we are going to we are going to add 10 to each, right? So we'll do kind of like this. 3 plus 10, we'll write 3 plus 10 in the numerator and we do 5 plus 10. That is what we're trying to say when we say what happens when both numerator and denominator is increased by 10, right? So we have increased each by 10. So 3 plus 10 is uh, 13 so we have 13 on the top and 5 plus 10 is 15 so we have that situation so what happens when it is 13 over 15 okay so let me again make the same chocolate bar right so let me do just uh, okay let's make new one here okay let me use a different color so let's say this is our chocolate bar we have 15 portions. So how do I make 15? So I'll make 5 like this as I did before, right? So let me use a lighter ink. Okay, so we have 5 like this. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5. Now we could divide like this, smaller pieces, right? So 1, 2 and 3. So that makes 15, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, out of these 15, how many do we get? We get 13. So, again, let's take these bigger ones. Okay. So, if I take 13, I cannot take 2, right? So, we'll take all. So, it is like 5 and 5, 10 and 11, 12, 13. That makes it. So, we get 13 out of 15. What do you see? We see that... Uh, 3 over 5 is, is much lesser than 13 over 15. Do you see that? Yes, it is. So when you add same number to both numerator and denominator, the share increases. Do you get an idea? The share increases, right? Now, as an exercise, let me have a question for you. That Let us say you consider a fraction... Uh, let's say 2 over 2 over 3, okay? 2 over 3. And now, another fraction, which is uh, 2 uh, plus, uh, let's add uh, 3 to each, okay? 2 plus 3 divided by 3 plus 3. So what we did was we added the same number. So what you get here is 5 over 6 kind of thing, okay? So we are adding kind of numerators separately, denominators separately. We are not adding fractions, so don't get confused with that. Now, what do you need to figure out? Which one is bigger, right? So compare. So you use the symbols like greater than, this is greater than, equal to or less than. So this is called greater than, right? This, you know, is equal to and this is less than. So what you have to do here is, you have to write the symbol in between and figure out which one is greater, 2 over 3 is greater or 5 over 6. 
So you have to write the symbol in between. One of these, just as I did, right? But you have to explain your answer using area model which we used or any other strategy, correct? So that's the question for you. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.